What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zeus back in the game with another video. So, today we're gonna change the rear sway bar link with the rear sway bar. I'm gonna show you guys better footage like under, but they're gonna get replaced. I have those, I don't know if they're a good brand. I got them from a cheap website, but I'm not gonna let it go to waste. So, I'm gonna show you the old one when they come, in, come out. And I'm gonna compare it to the new one. So I'm gonna just replace it with those for now. And then I'm upgraded to OEM because I like OEM parts better. But for now, I'm just gonna use that aftermarket one because I have it for like two years. I just never use it. So I'm gonna replace these, the swear bar link and the swear bars and the bushings also. So I'm gonna go up on the car and I'm gonna show you guys how it look under there. So this is how the old one look. The portion's gonna get replaced. I could have replaced the bracket too, but I'm gonna just leave the bracket like that for now. So this is how it look under here. So let's jump into it and remove them. And then I'm gonna I'm compare them, the new parts and the old parts. I'm gonna show you guys. So let's dive into it. It's very hard to um, record and do it at the same time. So you have to have a vice grip also to lock on it because the, the bolt will spin. All right, so don't forget that. I'm gonna see if I could get this one placed up under there so I could um, Lock it. I already took out one of the bolts is open as you can see. It's open already. Let me see if I could get it locked to the top one so the bolt don't spin. But if it spin or if you have like a not a pies um a nineteen or nineteen sixteens um spanner, you could put it up under here. But I'm gonna check in my tool pan to see if I have if not. You have to use a vice grip to lock it so it, the bolt don't spin in the back driver's side is done already so basically we're on the passenger side now so like i said let's see if i can do it with one hand so you basically push it up under there lock it it until you drop out see drop out because sometimes stuck into the boat so let's upside it down wait i didn't have that one up there my bad guys it was pulling too fast just to show you guys how to open it so i'm trying to record it take out the sway bar now that's how it looks it's all finished it's installed new rubber bushings new sway bar new sway bar link and new rubber bushing i'm gonna show you guys the 
part number so if you guys want it for the rubber bushings the rubber bushing is from z1 i'm gonna show you guys in a minute but that's it stay tuned for more that's the part number for the bushings if you guys need it but it came from z1 but that's the part number if you guys need it yeah, i couldn't record everything but most of it that you guys need in the video it was recorded so you guys can see it so for the sway bar itself the bolt is a 16 millimeter socket for the sway bar link is a 14 millimeter socket you have to use um a vice grip to hold it for the screw don't spin in the back or the bolt and for the um when you put it back in depends on the sway bar that you guys get back you could use uh 916 spanner or a 18 to hold the bolt on the back when you install in a new one for the new one you cannot use the vice grip like i said for the new one you cannot use the vice grip to fix to install the new one or else you're going to damage the um the new rubber that's behind here that's holding the grease on the inside thank you guys for watching please subscribe